Hello, good evening, and welcome. My name is Bob Steriker. I wish to welcome you back to video number three. I am here to showcase my wife's and Nita fine artwork, which we currently have in our home, which is available for sale. More details on my wife's artwork will follow, including details of how you may purchase her artwork. The first artist I wish to talk about is John Faulkner Slater. He come from the northeast of England. He was around painting in the 18th and early 19th century. His artwork is an Impressionism style. He also painted plain air. What is plain air, I hear you ask? He used the natural light and the beautiful colours which were available at the time of painting. So he had to often paint quickly because he would paint lots of different weathers throughout the year. He was actually known for painting on four farms. Of those four farms, he had one favourite. What was particular good about this one farm was he liked one particular female sheep, a ewe. That ewe had beautiful shape, beautiful colour, the wool was full, it was in the greatest of health. What also highlighted that sheep, it had four black legs. John liked that sheep so much he even gave it a name. The sheep's name was Barbara. The farmer, though, alas, got fed up of him being on his farm all the time and was quite often heard using the great farmer language of, hey, John, away, man, get off my tractor, get off my land. John's artwork has been shown in the galleries throughout the Northeast, such as the Lang ship. Artist number two, Leopold Lecomte, born 1890, passed away 1963. He is a Belgian listed artist, known for his impressionist work, showing a view of local life in Belgium at the time. His work has gone on to be sold in the UK, but also in Belgium and France. So this proves to us in the UK that Belgium has more to offer to us than Stella Artois and obviously beautiful, fine tasting Belgian chocolate. Robert Leslie Pell, born 1928. His paintings highlighting are showing boats in a harbour. The pictures are signed and dated. There is a lovely use of muted colours in an impressionistic style. It has a beautiful look and feel to the painting. I hope you agree when you get to see it. Robert Leslie Pell studied in the Northampton School of Arts in 1944 to 1949. He also went on again to Camberwell School as a mature student in 1964. What else can I tell you about Northampton? Its main industry used to be shoemaking. That's why the football team are known as the Cobblers. In 1642, there was lots of shoes and boots made for the local army. The local records showed there was 4,000 shoes and 600 boots. These were fine quality shoes. Such high quality that Oliver Cromwell came to the city in 1648 and had lots of boots and shoes made for his army. So that near enough ends my presentation. What will happen next 
is you will hear from my wife and get to see the fine artwork. So it will be soon time for me to say goodbye. But with Northampton in mind, I have to say, these boots are made for walking. And in the words of Elvis Presley the King, it's time for a little less conversation, a little more action. So goodbye. Remember kinky boots, darling? Hello again, it's Anita here. Okay, now what I've tried to do in this video is to give some example of artists who have taken their inspiration for their work from the great impressionists. I've tried to give a few examples over the years and I've started with John Bolton Slater, the classic impressionist who loved painting plein air, like my husband said, to try and capture nature, colours and light. The Impressionists attempted to emphasise an accurate depiction of light and its changing qualities, often accentuating the effects of the passage of time. They loved painting ordinary subject matter, and this is clearly seen in the painting, particularly by Slater, where he is trying to capture the unusual darkness of the autumnal cold evening. There is even a speed and hastiness in this work if you examine his brushstrokes. It looks like accuracy was not important in this piece, and what seems to be important is Slater trying to capture a fragment of time that he might never see again, hence the speed. If you look at a lot of Van Gogh's work, he liked to do very, very similar work, and it is very similar. Okay, now in comparison, Leopold Le Comte paints a heady summer's day. And he has taken time with the painting because there's an accuracy in the way he's painted the building that's very different to Slater's. However, he again captures the light and you get this feeling of peace and tranquility. There are no people. Was this painted mid-siesta and is everybody asleep? Because that's the type of feeling you get when looking at it. Then we have Robert Leslie Pell, who painted this in 1963 and it's a modern example of Impressionism. I won't dwell on the merits of this painting for too long, but he has kept a lovely palette of muted colours, and you do get a feeling, even though the boards are still, there's still a feeling of movement there. Right, another few things. I've sold a few paintings in the last few videos, but only one has been showcased, and that was La Tapas Rouge by Claude Le Pape. So sorry folks, it's gone. But I will use this opportunity in the future to update anybody, obviously if any paintings have been sold. Um, a few reminders, postage and packing is not included in the price shown. Any queries in this, please just ask me or go to my Etsy shop and it's all explained for you there. I would love to hear from you. If you're interested in me showcasing some of your work or would you like me to include some more facts or anything like that again just message me if you like it please like it and also if you would like to subscribe please subscribe and voila the next few paintings are here